Hey guys, RTT back here for that video guys. Today, we're going to be talking about folding phones in general. Now, obviously, this is a picture of apparently a Samsung release new technology or they show off new technology of folding phones. Not sure, you know, how much in depth they went, but I will say this is actually something I want to talk about because this is interesting to me. I do love the idea of foldable phones. I was going to buy the uh, Galaxy Fold 2, but now the Galaxy Fold 3 apparently is coming out in a couple months. I'm going to hold off for of that, guys, so I can go ahead and provide the content whenever it does come out. But with that in mind, guys, this is going to kind of push toward other companies coming out with foldable phones too i made a video about a couple weeks ago where i talked about how apple now is talking about how in 2022 they want a foldable iphone that kind of looks like an ipad but it's foldable um definitely interesting especially because the ipad i refuse by the way guys to buy a new ipad because they're awesome and all but they break so easily and based on what i've seen they're not very durable so very interesting to see what ends up happening when it comes to the, you know the foldable phones in that aspect but i'm very interested to see you know how much technology can improve because one thing i'll say about it, the galaxy full one obviously had its issues with the screen not being durable because of the fact of course that it was just a plastic screen you remove the screen protector you pretty much break the phone we saw the galaxy flip screen not durable galaxy fold 2 the screen got a lot more durable still not the best but a lot more durable now the galaxy fold 3 they're saying that we could see s pen support because it actually is that much more durable and then obviously we're going to see the same concept applies to apple will apple have you know really durable glass the issue with the foldable phones though is you can't have some like gorilla glass on a foldable phone okay at the end of the day this is a phone that is folding therefore glass cannot fold now how the galaxy fold 2 does it is they use a very very thin layer of glass and plastic on top of it in order to fold now the issue is that very thin layer of glass can shatter very very easily and that's why again a lot of phones do shatter or not shatter but break because of the fact again it's very thin layer of glass now Another issue with foldable phones is it's never waterproof. It's really hard to impossible to waterproof a phone that's foldable. Uh, Galaxy Fold 3 apparently is going to work on that and kind of improve that. But and like I said, it's almost impossible to fully get an IP resistant phone when it is foldable. Now, as you see in this picture right here, this is what honestly it kind of, you know, obviously it's probably just a mock up of what it could look like. But this is interesting concept. So obviously this kind of goes with the whole you guys have seen the um dual um not the dual side um what's it called? Ooh not I can't think of uh, Microsoft's Surface Pro, Surface Pro Duo. Uh it's kind of the same concept here where it folds and you open it up and there's two screens. This one actually opens up to one big screen. And I will say, you know, I do love the foldable phones, but it does become to a point where we kind of start asking ourselves like is this a tablet or is this a phone because at the end of the day you know you need to be able to use it as an actual phone not just tablet and one thing we saw with the surface duo is it's more or less just a tablet i mean if you hold the surface Duo up here like this is an iphone right here holds my ear it's not as weird right but if i hold up a surface duo to my ear it's like a gigantic you know thing holding up to my ear right here it just does not work out as well so that's something interesting to take a look at it's like is it first off can it be a phone first off can is it just a tablet but I'm interested because again, this is one render we have here. We have another one right here. And again, this kind of looks like a duo. This really, really looks like a duo. Now, again, I'm not sure if this is uh, Samsung actually released this. I kind of looked it up. I could not find Samsung actually releasing this image. So I'm not sure if Samsung actually showed this off or not. But what I will say is this looks exactly like a duo. It looks like you can fold it back. You have two screens. Obviously, that first picture is a little bit different than the duo, but still. It's interesting to see that this is actually technology that can happen. But keep in mind, guys, like I said, even though this is great technology, this is awesome. This is, you know, advanced. We're going toward the future. This stuff is very, very fragile. And that's another thing I think that is going to keep people back from foldable phones. And this is a big thing, guys, is the fact that in order for foldable phones to work, right? 
companies need to manufacture stuff that makes you know manufacture and like kind of not manufacture my bad need to uh gear the apps toward foldable phones right so right now most things are not geared toward foldable phones because the majority of people do not have them so when people make applications they're not making them for foldable phones well the only thing that gets people to buy foldable phones is if applications are already set up to work on foldable phones but they won't work on foldable phones until the application until people actually have a lot of them and then applications are made for them so that is something that i think is a back and forth type dilemma that really is hard to you know go against because what you have is you have a lot of companies let's say who makes applications if they're pushing application forward it costs a lot of money for them to make applications are they going to use their resources, their money, their time, you know, towards something that like, for example, a foldable phone that not many people are going to have. So this is something where it's a back and forth fight when it comes to foldable phones that it's hard to kind of justify. First off, $2,000. This phone right here will probably cost you $2,500. Can you justify spending $2,000 on a foldable phone that companies are simply a different application companies are just simply not going to make applications supported for that phone so it's going to be glitchy the software is not going to be good that's what we saw with the duo same concept here now for this phone right here this iphone iphone 12 pro uh, max this bad boy right here is $1,300 so i can just get this phone for $1,200 less and everything is optimized for this phone right here so i I love the idea of affordable phones, but I don't know, man. I don't know if this is a future. Until we get to a point where affordable phones, I will say, are durable enough that the average consumer won't break it. And the price does come down immensely. I just don't think at $2,500, you're talking about a very niche market, a very niche device where it because of the price tag the average consumer cannot just not afford it so if this can get down to like the surface zero for example is only 1200 oh is only like i think right now it's like 900 dollars. but it came out at 1200 dollars. so a lot of money but that's more in the price range of an iphone and now you're telling someone hey you need to get an iphone or the same price you can get two screens or bigger screen for your device so I don't know guys tell me down below your thoughts and opinions i really will say i am excited for the whole concept but i i don't know man it's the more and more i see devices and things come out for you know affordable phones the less like energetic or exciting that i get just because i again like i said i do truly believe it's a really great idea and i love technology moving forward but it's just simply i don't know what has to happen for us to progress to foldable phones and i think the only thing that's going to progress us is if apple does it and apple has already confirmed they're going to do it so if that's the case once apple comes out with their device because you gotta keep in mind apple is going to come out with a device that's going to be honestly perfect a lot of these foldable phones not saying samsung's bad in any way but a lot of these uh, there's a lot of phone companies out there that would just put out crap you know just to get a phone out there right and it might be complete dog crap Apple's not going to do that. So that's kind of the concept we can go off of. Once Apple makes it like a retail thing, a public thing, a normal thing, I think that's when we're going to see, you know, affordable phones really become next level. Guys, if you did enjoy this video, hit the like, subscribe down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.